Hello, lovely Aries, and welcome back. If you're new, welcome in. Aries, this is going to be a collective intuitive reading for June 2024 for what is approaching you in love. So I hope all is well, Aries, with you. If you are interested in a private session, you can always reach out below and email me. Aries, this reading may not be for all of you. Keep in mind, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. We're going to start with the Romance Oracles. And these messages are for Aries Collective for June. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sagittarius just had the same card. And it's saying, let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. I'm picking up the same energy of obsessing over you. Someone's very annoying. Someone's very controlling, very rude, and can be very abusive here. Okay. I'm seeing somebody here with a child, and this person's pulling away. They're protecting, they're defending themselves against somebody here. Then I'm seeing another person here who's very aggressive. This person is somebody here who, who um, you know, always has their finger on their face, like their mouth, like... They don't say a word, but their actions say everything here. So somebody's actions speak louder than their words, and you can be married to this person, wedding. So this could be a spouse. And the card I'm seeing is allow this situation to unfold naturally here, okay? So it feels like there is a situation here where you need to go with the flow. The situation is involving a partner in marriage, okay? For some of you, you have a child with this person. And it's feeling like there's a situation that's saying you need to find balance in this relationship here. Okay? It's like something is not working out in this relationship at this time here. I'm also hearing false start or false start or something about somebody here being false. Okay? So I want to go ahead and get the wisdom of the oracle. And we'll see what other messages are coming through from this. So this is for Aries for June 2024. Patience is needed here by surrendering control and going with the flow. It's like there could be some separation, some time apart right now or needing to space yourself. So there could be like needing to want to find space right now for yourself. This is for Aries. This is for Aries. So this reading won't be for all of you out there. I'm feeling definitely there is a contract here between the two of you. Yeah, not for you. So this card is fill out and there's three cards. By the book and Yang Energy, which is your energy. Number one. So you definitely have some kind of a Kudalini awakening that's happening here. It's new life at the bottom of the deck here, okay? New life was Taurus card for June. Like Taurus is going through a revert. Venus and Libra, Venus and Taurus placements. There's a revert. There's a renewal here, okay? New life. This card is because there's, a, there's definitely something here that's telling me something's not for you. Something's not working here, okay? It's like good fortune is ahead of the road here. The universe is letting you know Go with the flow because there's something very fortunate waiting for you. That's a fortunate cookie here, okay? There's someone here that I feel is definitely number six here, number one, and number 11. These could be the days of your birthday. It feels like with your marriage in a partnership, I'm definitely feeling things doing them by the book. So we're definitely seeing a family. We're seeing Papa, Elephant, Mama, Elephant, and Baby Elephant here. It's like, take your time, follow the routines, follow the day-to-day, -day, concentrate on what you can achieve here, okay? It's like this yang forces is definitely the masculine energy. You have a very strong uh, passion about yourself, Aries, and it feels like you're getting an energy boost here with the Ace of Wands, okay? There is a passionate new beginning that's here for you. It's a new life, like I feel, with the bottom of the deck. So you're starting a new chapter off here for yourself is what I feel. It feels like you do have family support here, okay, with number 11 is a lucky number. So I'm seeing 111. One, one. These numbers are synchronicities. You could be seeing 
things appear to you in threes. Like uh, you're seeing the three ones. You're seeing three birds, three flies, or whatever it is, it's going to come in threes. Signs and synchronicities. But there's something here that I felt could be like something was, you know, it had glittered. It was all glittery, but it wasn't the true thing. So all that gold, I'm feeling that card, all that glitters is in gold here, okay? There's somebody here that is clearly no longer for you. So you're closing the door in your life on some situation and a need to find balance, okay? Because you're closing out cycles and you're leaving something in the past where it belongs here, okay, Aries? It didn't work out for you like I feel in the past. So it's about focusing now, like I feel, on a family dynamic or family when it comes to children that can be evolved here, okay? So now Aries, I'm going to go ahead and shuffle, and this is for Aries. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. This is for what is approaching Aries in June in love. Show me Aries, and then show me the person that Aries connecting with in June. We're also going to get two cards for is there long-term potential here? And are the long-term hopes and dreams compatible with yours? This is for Aries. This is for Aries. bottom of the deck is the eight of com a cups so emotionally you're drifting apart from one another right now okay it feels like you're walking away from a situation very wounded very hurt here emotionally your overall energy is ten of wands yeah you're feeling burnt out right now you're carrying a heavy burden here is what i feel aries there is a feeling where you be you will go through this rejuvenation this activation the ace of wands here okay there's something clearly that's no longer working out for you here, okay? You're at the end of a cycle in your life, and there's a need to find balance with this Ten of Wands here. And I feel how you feel Ten of Swords when it comes to how you view this person in a perspective. You're definitely closing out something that you know is no longer for you. It feels like this betrayal is something here that I feel is closing out. It's like the worst is now behind you. I have 10, 20 years here, okay? How do you feel about this person in the past here? You were in your power here, Emperor Aries energy here. You took action in the past here, okay? It feels like whatever you took action on in the past now, like I feel, is now it was something here is closing out. So there's definitely a door closing here for you, Aries. I feel you made a powerful move in the past here, okay? How your what could be the challenge that you're currently going through? The strength, yeah, needing to find the strength to overcome a difficulty when it comes to a relationship. Here, I feel the situation you're currently in is five of wands. There's competition here, okay? Five of wands is the situation where there's disagreements, not seeing eye to eye in a relationship. Here, a need to let go of any control issues. Here, okay. It feels like whatever it is, it, it's like it takes a strong person to face their adversities, okay? You're facing some kind of an adversity, okay, when it comes to five of one, and there's other people involved in this situation, for sure. There's competition here, five of wands, okay? It's like there's somebody here that's trying to make you sweat, Aries, okay? Somebody here is definitely jealous there's jealousy there's envious here there's envy people like i'm feeling it feels like you're getting ready here to close the cycles out and leave somebody or people or places things behind here aries is there long-term potential here eight of wands well there's definitely a shift okay the eight of wands is going to change everything this is an action card there's a swift change that you're making so it feels like Aries, the potential that's here now is to shift and take actions in another direction by doing things by the book here, okay? It's like, it's, it's like you're too legit to quit. Whatever this is that you're doing here when it comes to a family dynamic, it could be relocating, moving, traveling here, okay, with the eight of wands. 
Your long-term views are in hopes and dreams. Are they compatible with this person? This person's putting up a guard. I feel you're dealing with a fellow Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, okay? This person had, and you do not agree. Your person, I feel, is definitely has healthy boundaries here. I feel that you do. I feel seven of wands, eight of wands. There's a need to set healthy boundaries, for sure. The seven of wands is the both of you in disconnection don't trust one another. This person that you're dealing with is on guard. Now let's see their energy. So you definitely have your energy, Mars and Aries, and you have Leo, okay? You could be connecting where you have Leo in your chart here, or you are dealing with a Leo, but I feel your challenge is patience. Yeah, in a situation, that could be like a need for you to be patient, be understanding at this time. Strength card. Your challenge can also be there, there's a certain weakness, okay, that's here. Now, your person's overall energy is page of cups. You will be getting a message from this person. They will be reaching out to you. This person can be younger than you. They can have water in their chart, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, okay? They're going to be apologizing to you. How do they feel about you? They want to do what's right. Your person definitely wants to bring balance to the scale here, Aries. This is somebody who could have Libra in their chart. They also want to balance the scales and bring back peace. How they view you, Aries, is Eight of Pentacles. Your person definitely wants to work on this connection with you here. So they want to stay focused. They're willing to learn, okay? They're willing to put the work in here. They're willing to engage with whatever they have to do. Their perspective on the relationship dynamics is the tower. They feel that they can rebuild this tower moment. I feel you had a breakup or a shakeup with this person, but it feels like whatever this relationship dynamic is, there's something here that's closing out and ending the tower moment, Mars and Scorpio. The situation your person's currently in is four of wands. There's definitely someone here that you're engaged, you're married to, you're living with, okay? Four of wands is a card of marriage foundation. So there's been some shakeup in the foundation here, Aries, is what I feel. But the situation your person is definitely open up to fixing, it feels like they're willing to travel, they're willing to go the distance with this connection. What is your person's challenge? Your challenge is the Empress, Venus in Taurus or Venus in Libra. Your person's in a new life. They're in a new light. This person may be having issues when it comes to their confidence or they have issues when it comes to their value systems. This person could, al could also have Aries, a pregnancy. This could be something that's challenging this person. They can be a parent. There could be children that are involved in the situation. I am seeing a feminine with a child. So like I'm feeling here, Aries, it feels like your person could be, like I feel in a situation that they're currently in right now is they want to work on this relationship. I'm seeing you're connecting with your divine counterpart. I do have the emperor and the, and the, and the empress here, okay? Like I feel, this reading is definitely for two people that do have a marriage or in a living uh, relationship could have a child possibly here. Like this person is willing to go the, the eight to nine yards that it takes. I feel right now they're putting their guard up here. Now I feel Aries back to the eight of cups. The both of you seem to have been walking away. One of you or the both of you could have walked out of this relationship called, called a tower moment, had some kind of conflict here. Five of ones, seven of ones, the four of ones. But I'm actually feeling like there's going to be the... Yeah, it was like somebody here got away with something here. I feel that also there was something with mind games going on. Seven of swords. Somebody here lied, okay? Somebody here wasn't being honest with you is what I feel. There's a lack of honesty here with the seven of swords and the eight of cups. And at the bottom of that, the seven of swords, three of wands. Somebody here is about to... Re re is, is about to reveal the truth. So I feel the truth will be revealed to you here, Aries, okay? There's definitely some kind of a truth conversation that's coming up here, all right? 
but I'm going to leave the reading there and we're going to go ahead and get the messages from the universe for advice for the lovely Aries. Lovely Aries. I feel that the person you're dealing with could be leaving a situation where there was children for some of you, okay? Or this person is is finalizing. Somebody here could be going through a divorce, okay? And this could be somebody who wants to rebuild a connection with you. It says, don't lose sight of the truth. You came here to evolve and grow. So it is necessary to experience the difficult times. That's when you will grow the most. There is always light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, you are evolving on a new chapter, a new beginning for some of you here. You're starting a new marriage or a new relationship or you just, you know, this is the, a, a bump in the road in the marriage. It says that you can't heal this. Don't lose sight of the truth here. The Eight of Wands is a card of growth. It's a card of evolving. It's a card of changing, okay? Evolving, going the distance, shifting your perspective. Things are going to be turned in your favor. Yeah, Aries. People that were against you all of a sudden will be for you. Ideas, creativity, promotions, contracts are going to come into your hands. Absolutely, Aries, is what I feel. A door is closing to your past when it comes to relationships with people, places, and things. But I also feel people will be coming back around here asking for your forgiveness here. Justice. Because this is their energy. So whatever these people did that was wronging you, there's going to be people that are going to be coming back here wanting to repair a connection. When it comes to contracts, okay? When it comes to contracts around work also, this could be. But whatever it is, Aries, it's turned in your favor. Things will be turning back in your favor. It says, your love life is about to start to move very quickly in some areas. Events that seem to have been on hold suddenly propel forward. Move with the flow and be mindful what needs your attention most. No lie, double confirmation. Your life is about to move quickly in some areas. So like buckle up Aries, okay? The shift begins, okay? I need to have strength and courage here to make the necessary shifts that this relationship requires. For some of you, it could be relocating, okay? There could be travel here. It could be foreign travel also here. I have Venus in Libra, Venus in Taurus, double Libra. I have Mars in Scorpio, I have Leo, and I have your card, Mars and Aries here, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and leave the reading there like I feel, and I will see you in the next reading. Please have a blessed month, and thank you for your comments. I greatly appreciate them, Aries.